Ew, or Elka vs Wacky Widgets, is an amazing widget engine for both Exor and Wayland. It is so powerful that you can replace any part of your desktop with it. And so today, we are going to make a simple notification daemon, which can be easily extended with your own functionality. Before we begin, make sure to install Ew itself, and also a programming language that will provide the logic for it, like Python. Ew stores its configuration in config slash ew directory, so create it, and place a ew.yak file inside. Yak is a special markup slash programming language used by ew, and its syntax is very similar to Lisp. Open the file, and we can begin our configuration by defining a window. Give it a name, and let's define some properties. Monitor is a required one, if you only have one monitor like me, simply put a zero there. Otherwise, the fastest way is to just guess the number. Next, let's provide it with geometry to define its position on the screen. Geometry takes a bunch of parameters itself, like X offset, Y offset, and an anchor. It makes sense for a notification daemon to have a set amount of pixels here, but for most other widgets, percentage is preferred. Add a stacking property to tell our window that it should sit on top of any other program and assign it to FG if you are on X or overlay if you are on Wayland. Before we can test it for the first time, we need to also put some widgets inside the window. So for now, use a simple label. Launch your window with ew open notifications and you will see a small label appear at the top right corner of your screen. We are almost there, except we did not write any logic yet. Create a main.py file in the same directory and let's fill it with some code. We will need a dbus python and pygo object packages, so install them and add these imports at the top. An X file with all of the required dependencies, as well as all of the code from this video, is going to be in the link in the description by the way. Notifications on most Linux desktops are done with a dbus interprocess message system. And all of the notifications that you receive are usually going through a org.freedesktop.notifications bus. Program sends some messages containing your notifications to a dbus daemon, which then redirects those messages to whoever happens to own the bus. In our case, we are the bus owners, so add this notification server class that does all of the service registering for you, and initialize it in main. All of this looks quite complicated, and I myself have only used Python once or twice, so the most important part that you might want to change here is the notify method. This is the part of the code that will be called each time some programs decides to tell you some news, so for now, let's simply try to log all arguments with prints. Launch the main file in the terminal and send yourself a notification with notify send for example. You will see all the notification data immediately. We don't want to display only one notification though, so let's make a system where each new notification is added to the list with a 10 second lifetime. For it, we are going to define a notification class at the top, which is going to contain some data that we want to showcase. We will also define a notifications array for storing those objects, and two functions which insert objects in the beginning, use threading to remove each one of them after 10 seconds, and print state of our notification system. For now, print state function is just going to log every notification object that we have in one line. Replace the logic in the notify method to just add the notification object with a summary, body, and an app icon to the array. And if we now open our window, we can see that the last printed message shows the latest notifications in the system. Not bad, but who needs notifications in the terminal? Let's move them to a widget. Open the yak file and define a listening variable above our window. It is going to invoke a command that we give to it once and replace its content with whatever standard outputs get flushed in it each time it is flushed. If we launch our widget now, we are going to see that each time we send some notifications, more objects are added to the top right corner of your screen. Pretty cool, but we also want it to look decent. So let's instead tell you to take content of this listening variable and treat it as part of its own syntax. With this line here, we can go back to the Python script and instead of printing Python objects, make it output real yak syntax. I made this simple tree of boxes and labels that contains references of each notification's summaries, bodies and program icons. It gets generated for every present notification and then all of them get interpolated into the main vertical box. Already if we launch our widget, we can see all of the new notifications appear with their images and text displayed correctly. Amazing, but the next step would be giving those ugly boxes some style with SCSS. Use the regular GTK styling options here and make it look the way you want by defining colors, paddings, margins and borders. Classes here come from window names or class properties on the widgets. This is the styling that I chose to use and here's how it looks. 
Our super simple notification daemon is now completed, it might not be as feature rich as other popular solutions, but because we just went through each part of the code together, you can add any functionality you need, including overriding certain app icons, changing colors in specific situations, saving history your way, or pretty much anything really. And now, I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, specifically, Victor Vintoris for a 20 euro per month subscription, Hoskins for a 10 euro per month subscription, Linux Rocks for a 10 euro per month subscription, Not a Nut for a 5 euro per month subscription, and also JerOM for a 50 euro recent donation, Coffee Supporter for a 10 euro recent donation, MedG00 for a 5 euro recent donation, Gaten LePage for a 5 euro recent donation, and Yogurt for a 1 euro recent donation. As usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.